Yo, what is up today? We are riding with Lee Shuaren, community contributor from the South Asia region uh, server. Uh, if you speak Vietnamese and uh, you'd like to support our friend, check out his YouTube channel, Crazy Tankers VN, especially uh, catered to Vietnamese uh, speaking community in World of Tanks. So if you're from Vietnam, remember to subscribe to Crazy tankers vn and uh, we are in his yak tiger 88 this is of course a premium tank uh, destroyer in tier 8 uh, our friend is running uh, vents rammer and optics in his yak tiger 88 of course the yak tiger 88 is a special matchmaking tank which means this tank never sees tier uh, tier 10 uh, it is only going to see a plus one matchmaker which means a maximum of tier 9 tanks now he is in ghost town and he has just befriended a defender and invited him into a platoon and what he's going to do is try to use his uh, incredible insane dpm to uh, bully his way through the town now uh, the yak tiger 88 has of course an 88 millimeter gun 2944 dpm this thing is absolutely insane 240 damage it has 212 penetration on standard ap shells and uh 237 uh penetration on premium apcr shells now if you look carefully at our friend here uh, he is firing full AP shells, so he's relying 100% com completely on 212 penetration. He does not even run food in his tank. Uh, this is a very committed credit grinder. Our friend uh, is uh, very good in saving credits, so this is why he plays his Yak Tiger this way. Of course, I am not going to judge you how you play your tank. Um, some people want all out 100% performance, will run the food, will run the BIA, will run any kind of advantage we can on our tanks. But some people play this game to, you know, fast track their way to uh, the next tank to get credits to afford um, premium consumab consumables. Um, to buy stuff save up credits for the black market you can play it any way you want i'm not here to judge you but i do want to look at your amazing replays and our friendly shwaran is going to have a fantastic game just look at him how quickly he reloads his gun and finishes off that uh first is and uh he just misses that on the sec misses the kill shot on the second is now i don't know if uh, if i was playing this tank i don't know if i would be running a um gun rammer for this tank because this gun reloads in 4.89 seconds when you run a gun rammer you save about 10 percent uh, of uh, reload time which means in the yak tiger 88 you uh, make up less than half a second of reload time with a gun rammer um, if it was my tank i would probably not run a gun rammer because uh, my policy uh, my standing policy is always to uh, not run a gun rammer for any tank that reloads uh, below five seconds or around the five second mark um, but to each his own if you want to run a gun rammer you run a gun rammer i'm not here to judge you uh the jack yak tiger 88 has 0 0.30 dispersion of course uh, this can be improved to 0 0.28 if you ran uh food in your tank but lee shwaran is not running food in his tank so he is counting on 0 0.30 dispersion as being enough accuracy for his yak tiger 88 after all you're firing this tank mostly um uh, stationary when you are fully aimed you aren't really um you're not going to be moving around too much even if you do move around a lot this tank has incredible moving dispersions 0 0.16 on the uh, gun and uh the tank traverse dispersion um if you move your gun around and you did not move your hull the penalty is only 0 0.08 dispersion on the turret traverse so this means this tank has incredible accuracy 
coupled with 1.73 seconds of aim time. This means the uh, bloom of the dispersion reduces to fully aimed in 1.73 seconds. Incredible amount of time. Um, very quick aiming, very quick firing, heavily armoured. Uh, our friend has already blocked 2,900 damage with the frontal armour of his tank. Already farmed 3,123 damage. Uh, right now he is in a bind. He's not sure which way he wants to push to get the remaining damage out of this game. This game is ending um, I mean is moving very quickly they are already eight tanks up um, versus five tanks from the enemy they have a three tank lead um, the um, HP the HP difference is about 500 700 right now it's 400 difference uh, he does need to push forward and see if he can get as much damage as possible this is the second wreck he is using as cover obviously the lower plane of the yak tiger 88 is the weakest part of the tank and that is where he wants to keep it uh, as low as possible our friend is now farming the uh, Rhymeter bossing and I believe he has tracked him and he is going to reload so quickly that he is going to finish that Rhymeter bossing before he can even uh, fully repair his track and drive away. There is an SU 130PM that could easily um, penetrate the Yak Tiger 88 if, if he can land the shots on the on the uh, Yak Tiger 88. Unfortunately, he took a hit for making that attempt, and he is going to completely uh, back off. What is Lee Warren going to do next? Uh, the score is 11 to 6. There are only four tanks left on the battlefield. He has done 4.2k damage. He does need to drive forward at some point so that he can. Uh, get more damage under his belt before the game is over uh, as with games nowadays they tend to end very quickly and under the seven eight minute mark games are usually over uh, that's because uh, all the tanks are just really good people know how to play them better uh, especially in tier eights a lot of people drive uh, premium tanks they know where to go uh, they know they are uh, duty they know their responsibility so games tend to end quickly if you are in a slow big heavy tank like the yak tiger 88 you need to find ways to um, get your share of the damage if you just sit behind and snipe from the back uh, you might not be able to um, get a lot of damage you might not be able to even get any damage at all if you are waiting for the damage to come to you you do need to uh, make uh, take the initiative to find a way forward um, find um, a, a place where it's safe for you to creep forward uh, where you can avoid uh, fire uh, if you have frontal armor use your frontal armor to block shots so that you can uh, go forward and continue um, in getting as much damage out of the game as possible if you're just going to be uh, inactive uh, like what you see normal tank destroyers do sit at the red line sit at the back wait for your light tanks to spot for you and then try to farm damage if you have that attitude you are going to get very little damage for yourself uh, follow our friend's example here Lee Shwaran uh, you need to go forward as soon as possible as often as possible as quick as possible if you don't you'll be left behind congratulations to Lee Shwaran nearly 5k damage 3.4 uh, blocked damage uh, he hardly spawned anything for himself even though he was running optics uh, he got an ace tanker for his efforts 5000 damage in the end uh, obviously he got a little bit of a blind shot there and landed one of those and uh, there you go 30 shots fired he hit 27 of them and even with standard penetration he penned 23 out of those 27 shots great game from Lee Shoran I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one bye bye